The legislative weekend is right around the corner. Remember that everyone who participates in the program and is not in the press corps needs to write a bill. A bill is an idea that you have on a public policy issue that either creates a new law or changes a current law in the District of Columbia. Writing a bill is an opportunity for you to create change in your neighborhood, community, and school. During this video, we are going to cover the steps to write a bill. If you have any, question, your any questions, your delegation advisor or student advisory board representative will be happy to help you. Step one, choose a bill topic. The first step you want to take writing a bill is to choose a topic. Begin by brainstorming what you would like to see change in your neighborhood, community, or city. Remember that your bill topic must be related to a local issue in Washington, D.C. Does anyone already have an idea for their bill topic? Oh, I have a good one to ban brake packets in D.C. public schools. That is an excellent bill topic. I'm sure that that will be quite controversial among the committee members at Legislative Weekend. Anyone else? Provide free, free public transportation to all public school students in the District of Columbia. Another great idea for a bill topic. One concern may be cost, so make sure you're prepared to answer questions regarding the financing of this bill. Another bill would be to reform the DREAM Act. While this is an important public policy issue, it is unfortunately outside the jurisdiction of city government. It is the federal government issue. In YMCA DC Youth and Government, we only address bills that, be, that can be enacted and enforced by the District of Columbia city officials. Let's move on into the second step. Step two, research your bill topic. Now that you have a bill topic, you need to research it. You need to have facts, figures, statistics, and examples to support your topic. There are a number of resources you can use to conduct your research. Or your research. These resources include the internet, local newspapers, library books, and personal testimonies. Through your research, you want to find out who your bill would impact, how much it would cost to implement your bill, and who would be responsible for implementing or enforcing your bill. Can anyone suggest resources Darian should use in his speech? Darian, I would recommend you look at a website for the District of Columbia's public schools to find out how many students <laughs> attend public schools in D.C. and how, this, how the law will impact them. I would recommend Darian to look at the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority websites to confirm that the WMATA charges $30 per month for student monthly passes. I will look at the Washington Post to find recent articles about the proposed metro fare increases in order to gauge public opinion on the issue. Those all sound like great ideas. Now let's move on to step three. Writing and reviewing the first draft. After you've completed your, your research, you are ready to write the first draft of your bill. Using the bill template provided by your delegation advisor, write your bill. The template contains a number of sections that you must complete. I will outline the various sections for you. Title. The first section you must complete is the bill title. Your title should be short and state what your bill is about. Section 1. In Section 1, you want to explain what your bill does. Section 2. In Section 2, you will write the purpose of your bill. Why is your bill necessary and important? Section 3. In Section 3, you will define any terms that you have included in your bill. For example, if your bill is related to schools of the District of Columbia, does your bill only affect public schools, or will it affect parochial, private, or public charter schools? Section 4. This section is optional. In Section 4, you need to state what the penalties are if someone violates your bills. You do not have to include this section if your bill does not require any penalties. Financial Impact Statement. In this section, you need to explain how much it will cost to implement your bill and where the money will come from. You can. You may find it helpful to review the District of Columbia's budget in order to complete this section. Effective date. Finally, in this section, you must state when your bill will take effect. You may decide that you want your bill to take place immediately after passage, or you may want to implement your bill at a later date. That is up to you. Keep in mind that you do not need to include all of your research in your bill. You can use some in your research in your opening and closing statements. Once you have completed your first draft, Give your bill to your delegation advisor for review. They will proofread your bill for errors and offer suggestions. Now we will move on to step four, writing the final draft and submitting your bill. Once you receive your edits and feedback from your delegate, delegation advisor, it is time for you to write your final version. Your bill should be in the same format as the bill template. Do not worry about completing the committee section. 
This section will be completed by the YMCA DC Youth and Government Program staff. Once you have written your final draft, find out from your delegation advisor how you should submit the bill. They may ask you to turn in the bill into them or they may ask you to submit the bill online. The fifth and final step is preparing for debate. I would recommend that each of you select two or three prominent speakers such as Malcolm X, President John F. Kennedy, or Denzel Washington and watch or listen to several of their speeches. While you are watching or listening, pay attention to their body language, voice projection, diction, and eye contact. Practice delivering your opening arguments using these techniques. I hope you find this video helpful as you start to research and write your bills. We can't wait to see you at Legislative Weekend!